Hello everybody, it's Monday, November 30th, and this is our phonics lesson. Since it's November 30th, that means we've had Thanksgiving last week and you had a five-day weekend. So I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, no matter how you celebrated it. Um, I hope it was a great time and you had a good weekend and you're ready to come back and start learning again. All right, so for phonics this week, we're going to start off with just listening to sounds and then we'll talk about what letters make those sounds. Let me turn this back on. So let's start with our sound boxes. When we use our sound boxes, we can also chop like this to hear the sounds because we're going to count how many sounds we hear in the words. So the first word, I'm going to say the sound separate. So it would be ch, ch. So I'm going to use this also. So ch would be one chop. I, ch, I, n. So we have ch, I, n. Three sounds. What word does that make? Chin, right, chin. Okay, let's try this one. I'm gonna give you the word. I want you to chop it and hold up how many, how many sounds you hear on that word, okay? So the first word is itch. Okay, I'm seeing some twos, I'm seeing some threes. It is two. I, ch. So, I, ch, itch. Only two sounds in that word. That word actually has four letters in it. Okay, the next one is whale. Whale. Chop it. Show me how many sounds. Three, yes. W A O Whale. W A O. Yes, three sounds in whale. Okay, next one is phone. Phone. <coughs> right. O N. Three sounds in phone. Okay, ready for the next one? Why? Why? Yes, two. What? I. What? I. Why? Wow, that one only had two sounds in it. Okay, the next one is much. Much. M a ch. How many is that? Yes, you got it right. M. M, a, ch, much. Okay, and two more. Next one is chip, chip. You're getting faster. Right, three, ch, i, p, chip. Okay, last one. Hmm, might be a little tricky. Chops, chops. Let's see if you're right. Ch, a, p, s, chops. Yes, there was an S added to that. Chop is the word, and then we added these s, chops, chops. Okay, that one was four. Good job. Okay, so some of these words I've been saying have maybe a different sound. Okay, so here we have a piece of cheese, Swiss cheese, and this is what cheese starts with. I'm going to bring you a little closer. So cheese starts with C-H. So C-H says ch, ch. Remember, S-H last week was sh. C-H is ch, ch. And then look at this. T-C-H also says ch. But you never start a word with T-C-H. That's going to be at the ends of some words that have the ch sound in it. So ch and tch. And then let's look at this one. We did whale. We chopped wh-ale. Wh-w-h. Wh. It kind of just sounds like w, right? Whale. But we kind of say, when you say w-h together, it's kind of like a, you put a wh-wh. 
like the breath before the W, whale, or where, um, which, like which door. So WH says wh, wh, WH. And then there's another one, and I don't have a sound card, and I don't know why. I said we did phone, own, sounds like an F, right? But sometimes an F is spelled P-H, and that makes the P-H. That one's a different one. Like an elephant, we don't have it up there, but elephant, that F in elephant is a P-H. Phone is a P-H, phone. So that one's kind of tricky. We have to remember, P-H says W-H says Kind of like a H here first, hawa, oh, and then ch, ch. Okay, ch, ch. All right. I'd like you to get something you can write on. Could be your a board or paper, and then go ahead and get your papers to look at. So when I give you directions, we have two today. Okay. So pause me if you need to. Get a board or paper. And actually, if you want to, you could do it on the back of this one that you're going to be cutting. If you don't have a dry erase board, you could just write on the back of that. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm, you know, we're going to say the sound, and then we're going to write the letters and say it five times. So first I'm going to write CH. That says ch, ch, like chin, okay? So now I want you to write CH and go CH. Okay, we're gonna do it again. We're gonna go CH and write it. CH. And do it again. CH. Do it again. CH. And one more time. CH. CH. Now let's look. Kind of sounds funny after we say it a lot, doesn't it? Okay, raise that. Now we're going to do the same thing with the TCH. So you write it TCH. Ch. 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 Feel like a choo choo train. Okay, choo choo train starts with the ch. Okay, now let's do the whale. So I mean not whale, the wa wa. So w h has more of a hawa hawa sound. Okay, but you're gonna put the w first. So we're gonna go wa, and then do it again. Wa. We're sounding kind of funny right now, aren't we? Okay, and then we have that PH right here. That's so weird. We have to train our eyes to tell our brain that that says So we're gonna write it and say it. Train our eyes. Okay, just kind of helping us because we have to learn now that when we see that, we automatically say the right sound. So eventually you'll be able to go ch, ch, wha, and it'll be automatic. The PH one is the weirdest one because it gives you the 
F sound, and there's no F in that PH. That's a strange one. So your spelling words this week have all words with all of these digraphs. This one's actually a trigraph because it has three. So I think, well, I'm not, I don't think, I know. You, your one with the PH is grr, a, and then f, graph, like a math graph, like we do in math. Graph. Okay, all right. Good job. So right now for today, we really want to learn those sounds. Okay. The CH and TCH are tricky. So in your spelling words this week, CH starts your CH words. And then if your word ends in CH, it's TCH. Okay. There's a rule that we follow with that, but it's kind of tricky. So just know this week our spelling words, if it ends with the CH, CH it's going to be TCH. Like, Right now that says cat, but if we put the ch, catch, catch. And if we change our c to an m, you don't have to write these, you just look. Match. Okay. All right, so let's look at our, let's read a couple. We're going to just read a couple rows before we look at our papers. I want to just read it couple of these rows, okay? So today we're going to practice this first row. We have the CH, 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 TCH. Okay, so those all say ch, ch, ch. And then here's our WH, wuh, wuh. Okay, so let's see. S, uh, ch, such, ch, at. Chat, ch, ek, check, l, un, ch, lunch, lunch. One of your favorite things to do here at school, right? W, itch, which, k, atch, catch. Okay, let's look at those again. Such, chat. Check, lunch, which, catch. Okay, and let's do the second row today. We'll do the second row. So we see CHs again. Oh, and there is a PH. That's the one that's their spelling word. CH, TCH, and another PH. Okay, rich, rich. Ch, in, chin, gr, a, f, graph, in, ch, inch, m, itch, mitch, st, f, steph. Those are names, mitch and steph. So we have rich. Chin, graph, inch, mitch, death. Okay. I want you to, I'm going to stand here for just a minute and quiet, and I want you to read one of these two rows to yourself. Read the row. Okay, pause me if you're not done, if you need to. Okay, all right, good job. So, wow, that was some new sounds and things we learned. So we're gonna practice them on our, on our, on our papers here. So this one right here, color by the digraph. Okay, it doesn't have TCH. Because what TCH would be the same would be with this one, because they both say ch, ch, so it'd be green. 
So wuh, if it's WH, wuh, 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 like whistle, it's going to be blue. PH, remember what does PH say? F, if you need to put an F next to it, okay? PH f, is red. And the CH, 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 green. So blue, red, and green. The sounds can be anywhere. Like PH sometimes is going to be in the middle of a longer word. Okay, do you know what this is? That is a whisk, whisk. Use it to get your eggs mixed up and other things when you're baking. Okay, so let's look at the back. Again, we're just working on listening and hearing those sounds. So you'd say the name of the picture, brush. And you'd circle which digraph you hear in there. Now, SH and TH are on here because you know those two. Okay, so brush. You would listen for which digraph and circle the digraph. If you want to color the pictures, you can because it's not part of the directions, but you can color them. Any color you want. Okay, and then on this one, you're cutting and gluing to match the sound. So PH, remember, is F. So you could put an F in there again if that helps you. F. So if you hear F in these, you would glue it here. If you hear W, W, you glue it here. If you want to color them, you can color them any color you want. If you want to color coordinate, you could do this one color and then do your F things that color. And use another color for that side. Or you can color them any color you want because that's not part of the directions. You might have written on the back, which is fine, your WH, TCH, CH, and PH. All right, so these two send pictures to your teacher. And that's our phonics for Monday, November 30th. And I will see you again tomorrow for phonics. Bye.